He's getting the shots up. He's done that quite a bit. Um, night before games, getting the shots up, and then, you know he's got to do what he's do is get his his head right. And you know nothing uh, it hasn't happened before with other players. Dwayne, is there anything you can do or say, or is this Kyle? Is, you just said it's, it's so much in his head right now. Can you just kind of get through? Well, he needs to get through it. I mean, it's nothing. You know, we're gonna run this. We're not gonna change the offense or anything like that. And again, we believe in him. He's gonna make all. I think situations like that went through a similar thing with a guy like Ray Allen, Hersey Hawkins. Shooters, scores, of, they go through droughts, just like a baseball hitter. And the only thing that's going to help that is to see that ball go through the hole a couple of times. And, uh, you know, and that's all a guy like that needs. He's not going to forget how to shoot. And you don't want him to. So um, uh, that's, it's, it's something he has to go through. Uh, but again, contribute in other ways to help us win. It's a, the, the small lineup you used created a lot of cross matches and a lot of scrambling. Well, I thought we did, Doug. I thought we handled it with the cross matchups. I thought it helped us with our pace of the game. Uh, the tempo of the game was good. I thought uh, uh, to speed it up a little bit, they want a more of a more deliberate half court uh, where they can load up and that type of thing. So we want to make sure we get some more movement. I didn't think we moved well once we did get in half court. Um, you know, we got to get get our bodies moving and the ball moving a little bit more to the weak side. Um, you know, uh, Jonas was in there with the small yeah. lineup also. No, I just uh, uh, right, right. Well, Jonas, Jonas was scoring for us. I mean, he was doing a good job of, of, of scoring, being a threat. I thought he did a good job of rim protection last night. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a tag team situation. But when Jonas is playing as well as he's playing last night, um, and, and doing a good job on the defensive end of protecting the rim. He, you know, we we got to have him in there. There's nothing really Biz did wrong, just like yeah. vice versa. Uh, if Biz is in there, is if one of them's playing really well, you know, we usually go with them. How good uh, when Dwayne sort of gets into the paint and it sort of seems like he's just feeling out mm -hmm. the rim tonight, right? Like he's, he's one of the best, Eric. He. He gets you on his hip and just backs you in, backs you in. He's so strong. He's got that old man strength. Uh, but again, we can do a better job of, of having help ready and available, bringing help from different situations, different areas, uh, getting back in front of him once he does cross grain like that and try to get you on his hip. And Joe Johnson does the same thing. Even Drogic does the same thing. So we can do a better job of, of our bigs maybe coming up a little bit more. Uh, bringing help when they're on the side from a uh, certain area that we want to come from. Uh, so there's different things we can do that we can do a better job of. But there, you know, that's one of his strengths is backing you and getting on his hip as well as Joe Johnson. Is it the last few minutes in a game where, where the experience that he's had in, in the playoffs and the championship really becomes dangerous? It is. I mean, you, if we let it. I mean, the, the king is we got to continue to play, continue to be physical, continue to make his uh, catches tough and not let him, those guys get in their sweet spots originally. Uh, you know, they're great players. But again, we can do a better job of uh, overplaying situations. And we showed them on video, uh, pressuring their catches out, pressuring the passer to before they get in those situations and take some of those things away. Again, you're not going to stop a, a great scores like those guys. They're great. They're, you know, all stars and future Hall of Famers for a reason. But, uh, you know, we can do a better job, and we will tomorrow night. Big, as well as Joe Johnson. Both, both pieces have been great additions for those guys. Um, Dragic getting back to his form that he's played with in Phoenix is huge. Uh, I thought he went through some things there in Miami, but he's back now playing at a very high level. Uh, again, we can do a better job, whether it's you know getting the, blitzing him some, getting the ball out of his hands a little bit more. Uh, there's some things we can do to help our guards guarding him. Uh, you know, and that's that's going to be an important part of this series is making sure we get him under control, get back in transition when he get. That's when he really gets his juices going. Is when we don't do a good job of getting back in transition uh, and attacking us early. What is it about the, the great players in almost every sport that just seems to be able to slow the game down to what is their 
Steve, it's just like baseball. Great hitters. Uh, it looks like you know it's an underhand softball pitch coming in there, and it's the same with great basketball players. The old saying: the older you get, the old, the slower the game becomes, and um, it's so true. And, and every great player I've ever been around and coached always said the game seems like it's in slow motion, and uh, I think that's the difference between a young player and an old player too, because young players are easy to be sped up. And uh, older players, it's, it's harder to speed an old player up. And, um, you know, whether it's he doesn't have the speed anymore or, or, or he, you know, he, the game is slow for him. But great players, they see things in slow motion. What have you said to Patty? He's been such a key for you all year. And, you know, starting or coming off the bench, he just hasn't been himself for either night. What do you say to him this morning? Well, he's got he's to bring it. He's got to do what he does, Ryan. I mean, you know, he's a shooter. He's a scorer take those shots. I mean, he's getting some good looks. He, he's taking them. We're trying to put him in position to, to do that. Um, you know, it's a little bit unfair to Pat because he's gone against a lot of perimeter guys that, um, you know, are, are, you know, looking to attack him off the dribble a little bit more. Um, you know, and this is, uh, these two series have been small series. The guys that really are good at putting the ball on the floor, Winslow uh, before that, Solomon Hill. Uh, so, you know, Pat's been in a tough situation uh, there when we, you know, sometimes have gone with Norm in that position. So, uh, but Pat is so important to our team, Ryan, that we need his scoring, his shooting, uh, and the other, the other intangibles he brings to the table, like the ball movement. He's one of our great ball movers. Uh, getting the ball to the weak side. So he's got to continue to do that and then play with confidence. I mean, there's nothing that that uh, you can say to give to someone to say, hey, that's your shot, take it. That's, you know, give him the green light. And he's got the green light to shoot the ball uh, because, again, he's one of our best three-point shooters on our team. You've seen a lot of second-round picks come in and out of the league over the years. Probably most of them have relatively short careers. You guys have Norm. They have Richardson. How rare are those guys? How hard are those guys to find? They're very difficult. We had a kid, Eric Snow, in Seattle, second round pick. Rashard Lewis, second round pick. Uh, some of those guys are rare, but they're there. And, you know, we're fortunate to have Norm, and they've got a good one in uh, Richardson. So, um, you know, the, in today's draft, I'm, I'm not in the front office, so I don't want to be, but those things are really important to find those gems like that. And our guys did a good job of finding Norm, and he's been Big for us, um, you know, and again, what he brings to the table is very important. When you talk about speeding up the game, how much is that with an eye to games like three, four, five, when you're playing an older team as the series goes on with it? Like, does that go into your thinking as well? Well, we hope so. We, you know, we want to have a pace. We got against this team, they're so good in the half court. Uh, with with Whiteside back there waiting for you. If we don't speed the game up, you know, and and again, that doesn't mean come down and be fr frenetic. You know, you know, just in throwing, just taking a quick shot and throwing the ball out of the gym. You know, we want to uh, get the pace up the floor, push the ball up the floor, pass it up early, and take the shots that are your shots. We want to get the ball in the paint, kick it out, then for a three. But um, you know, we want to keep the pace going, and and but again, the best way to do that is to get stops. But a smarter pace. Than a smarter pace, yeah. Than last year, right? A smarter pace than coming out and just jack up a quick shot, and uh, you know, no pass three, and not the ball doesn't attack the paint three. Uh, you know, we want to keep that pace, and hopefully that. Place to our place to our advantage. I saw that. We we should take. Uh, well, that's fine. I, and I said this, um, you know, before. Nobody respects us. Uh, you know, everybody's written us off, and that's fine. You know, we the people in this building right now in that locker room over there are, are the most important people to believe that, and um, hopefully our guys take that to to heart and and to you know. And, and take offense to it, and uh, that you know other teams are. But again, I someone told me I didn't read it, but someone told me about it. Uh, you know, but again, our guys should take 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 offense to that, and uh, they're the, the you know they're the ones that can do something about it. Well, you do it over the years. You continue to do it over the years, and and uh, next year, the year after that, you build a program to, you know, I think people are still looking at us from, you know, six, seven, eight, ten years ago, whatever, fifteen, I guess, the way things. But, you know, we're a growing program, Steve. You got to earn that respect. 
Uh, and the way you earn that respect is, is win on a continuous basis. No question. I think that's important. Uh, nobody said, even in the last series, we weren't going to beat Indiana 4-0. We weren't going to sweep them, no matter. I don't care what the standings say or what. We're not going to sweep this team. Uh, we're going to be behind in some games, and you can't panic. Uh, just like Miami played last night, they didn't panic. They got down. They played their game. They kept uh, with the process, the execution. And that's the, the next level we have to get to, is not to panic, not to feel the pressure of having, of you know, being down even at home. Uh, you can, we're going to be down at home. But again, you continue to execute on both ends of the floor, execute offensively, execute different, don't become frenetic and do crazy stuff out of character, make, you know, to crazy plays or whatever. Just continue to play your game, playing hard and under control. And um, that's uh, the experience that comes in the, to play of uh, not having turnovers at that time, making sure you get quality shots um, and not coming down, taking quick shots just because another team has made a run. Because in the playoffs, there's the good teams are in the playoffs. They're there for a reason. So the other teams are going to make runs. You not, you very few sweeps are going to happen. Look at San Antonio. I mean, you know, they they got beat at home uh, by Oklahoma City after beating them by what twenty or whatever. So that's going to happen. So we got to keep the po our poise, compete with poise, be under control, um, and, and not get rattled when the other team makes a run. And and again, we're I thought we did a better job as the series went on in in Indiana in, in Game Seven. Well, you know, I, I, again, we have a. Re I think we got a bunch of fighters in that in the locker room. I've never doubted any of those guys in there, and uh, you know, we can't get too high when you win, and you can't say it's the end of the world when you lose. And as long as we keep that mentality, Josh, you know, people can say what they want to say. We they got to we got to stick together and do what we do, uh, and and the m main thing is compete at a high level with poise, even through adversity. And I think that's our next step of growth as a team, as a playoff team uh, to get through.